What is going on, everybody? This is Striker welcoming you back here to Assassin's Creed Valhalla episode number three. I did decide to put the bone biter that we got at the end of the last episode in our raid on just to kind of try it because it is our first two handed weapon that we've been able to get to. So, this hand, as you can see, it is currently locked because we've got a second hand weapon. Also, I did find brightness, it's an image calibration, which doesn't make any freaking sense to me, but hey, it's whatever. Let's go ahead and talk to this out. We thought we had lost you, Eivor, for good this time. A nah, warm welcome as always, Ranvi. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about. Except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough. Though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. That's okay. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Okay. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. We killed many of Kjotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. True. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. It seemed very dramatic a just to say I can wait. Over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since. Since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Volka. She could help me make sense of my... My feelings. Yes. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Alright. Quest completed. Looks like we have... Looking rough. Welcome home. Do I need to punch you in the head, bitch? Alright, so we got two skill points. That's dope. Alright, skills. Nodes type. Spending skill points on nodes will improve your fighting skills. Stat nodes improve your base stats, which are just, just the squares. And main skills unlock fighting moves. Okay. Global power. Equip nodes will increase your power, which we can see somewhere, I'd assume. Oh, right at the bottom. Duh, power. One. Okay. Uh, the higher the power, the more prepared you are for challenges to come. So I was curious where that would come from. So yeah, like I said, it looks like you can only go off in one direction. Like I said, we're going for stealth recon in the last episode. So we're going to go ahead and go to range, and then we're going to go to health. Oh... So those skill points actually stretch a lot farther. So we got 2.3 range damage, or plus 2.3, plus 5.2 health. All of our wolf gear gets a bonus to attack, stun, crit, block, all of that. And then we got range resistance. So it looks like headshot damage is next, and then stealth recon. And then we can see how this splits off into something else. But we are now power level 5. And if you look at it in other areas, um, the suggested power for uh, for our main area that we started in, it, awesome, uh, it is one. But if you go into other places, you're looking at stuff like that, 280. So this looks like uh, this this is gonna be probably late game right here. Last thing we do, maybe I don't know, but 280 versus uh, five that we're at. So we're uh, we're a little under level for that stuff. Multiple quests accepted. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our quests, actually. Okay, part of Battle to the Northern Way returns home to face a foster father's fury. Or let's go to the local seer. Let's do that one, since that's not as main. I return with a boat and a full crew that is worth more than silver. Who are you, and why do you have a little chat thing above your head? Caught anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. Hmm. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow. That could work. 
losing count. You need silver. So that might be like a. All right, now what the hell are all these symbols? I gotta learn what all these symbols are. Okay, what is this one that looks like a bag? What's this place? How you doing? Welcome. What y'all got in here? I can fetch this if you want. Merchants can be found in every large town. You may buy essential and rare items from them or sell them your trinkets and valuable goods in exchange for silver. Available for purchase. Okay, so we can buy hunter arrows, we can buy rations, we can buy iron, we can buy leather, and all of these now. That's not it. Is it oh, it's the arrow keys. That's annoying. How much money do I have? I have a hundred. Alright, hold on. Let me go... Let's see what my dog's barking at. Surprise, surprise, she was barking at freaking nothing. All right, so leather I need. I just double checked before I came back to the to the camera. I need 20 leather. So we can buy that. Solid purchase. And then I need uh 67 iron. Uh we're getting close. It, it is nice that they do have at least arrows, you don't have to this sit here and manually buy purchase. like one at a time. All right, purchase. so we're almost out of money entirely, but the reason why we uh, later, friend. why we needed this stuff is we can now upgrade our ration pouch. All right, increase max ration capacity. That's what you like to see right there. All right, now we do have a bunch of trinkets, and I'm sure there is probably an achievement for selling a certain amount. Is there no one who will go around with me? All right, Tekla. I'll out drink you. Hey, Are Tekla. Are drinking? Hell yeah. What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? Oh, I know, bitch. Let's do it. Oh, okay. It's like a little mini game. I didn't know that. Whoops. Now, do I have to wait till it gets on the inside? I was like at the same exact time, to be honest. I like how they their their unit of measurement. <laughs> That's cool. You actually start to stagger. Um, their unit of measurement is horns. Oh, missed. All right, I'll get better at these mini games too because I'm still learning the concepts. All right, we're just slightly behind this lady, so we gotta really power through this last one. God damn it! Come on, Avor. Come on, come on, come on. No! I could outstrink every <sighs> of you. Don't do it again. Bad. Most of these backgrounds would have pissed themselves off past by now. Is there no one who will go around with me? All right, can All we do right, it again? Can hey, we Tecla. All right, we're gonna beat what this is bitch. Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a now that we know the mechanics, I won't fuck it up. Let's do it. Okay. And I have no idea, like I said, if getting into the middle versus the outer ring is better. So I'm just gonna treat it as a, a timing base. Yeah, I think I can. I'm beating you now. Now that I know the freaking mechanics. So slow. Yes. Now. See, this This is why we do it again, because I'm kicking her ass. Lifeblood. 
Frickin' well drunk. easy. Well done. Well drunk done. <laughs> Is there no one who will go around with this me? land will never prosper while clan battles I like how there is actually a drunk effect this is awesome how you doing are you the seeker am I supposed to come talk to you what other I don't know let's see who well, the hell you is it is practicing your wordplay Alvis ah Eivor <laughs> The only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. As you should. You told me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Alright, let's let's win this fucking thing let's too. Try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. I'll recall what you taught ere I enter the fray. Is that the right answer? A fine answer. Perfect okay. rhyme and a lovely cadence to match my line. Now, let us examine meaning. Oh, God. <clears throat> in flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Skull, skull, skull. Okay, then I'll tell you... You've nothing... You, you, you've nothing... That's too long. Then I'll spit in your face and I'll bash in your skull. Then I'll make a fine goblet. It's this one. Then I will spit in your face and I will bash in your skull. Not bad, not bad. The rhyme is there, the sound is good, but consider that I said you were silly and you told me you would kill me. At times, it might be best to remain on theme. Something to consider. Last one. Well, fuck so this guy. go then and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. Alright, bear flare, not that one. I don't frickin' know. I look forward to becoming far more than you can bear. A good rhyme, but a bad structure. Close, you're <laughs> close. There's still much for you to learn about flighting, but I'm confident you'll pick it up. Happy to help you learn if you'd like to come back again. Perhaps I will. Thank you, Alvis. Perhaps I won't. That was stupid as shit. All right, winning. Flighting duels increases your charisma level, which can unlock special dialogue options in certain situations. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna have to beat that. I'm not doing it right now. <laughs> Alright, what, uh... Hold on. What is this? A little dice never caused any harm. Orlock. There is a player in every port and city. Let's see. Yes, Orlock. Join me. Let's do it. We'll see, this, we're just experiencing the new game mechanics. All right. Let us begin. All right. How do I play this damn game? All right. Orlog is a game where two players duel by rolling dice and invoking God favors. The first player to reduce the health of the opponent to zero wins. Each round has three phases. The roll phase, players roll their dice. Die phases have various effects like attack, defense, or gain tokens used to invoke god favors. The god favor phase, players may make a, whatever, symbol offering to invoke a god favor. God favors grant powerful blessings that can greatly affect the outcome of a round or even a game. The resolution phase, the phases of the dice rolled by both players are resolved against each other, damage is dealt or blocked, tokens are gained or stolen, rounds are played until one player reduces the health of the other to zero. Alright. I understand the general concept. Tails. That's Tails. Alright, cool beans. At the beginning of each round, you and your opponent take turns rolling dice. You can roll up to three times. Between each roll, you can choose which dice you want to keep and which you want to re-roll. Okay. Let's go ahead and roll them. Alright, 
Tokens are used. Steal one from the opponent, gain one. Okay. Deal one damage, deal one damage, block one damage, block one damage. Okay, easy, easy. All right, got it. All right, select the dice to keep, then confirm. All right, I want to do... All right, I want to take this one to keep. And then we'll do... One of each attack. Plus a block. And then let's, let's confirm that. Is that all he took? Okay, so that's to block my one axe. So let's go ahead and plop that one down. Oh, confirm, sorry. All right, so he's got also a steel, he's got a block for an arrow, but he's still one behind on physical damage. And he hasn't tried to attack me any. All right, resolution phase. All right, in this phase, the dice effects are resolved in order. Each uh, square thing earns one one token. Oh, okay, so keeping these ones are important. Okay, so I got two of those. They got three of those. That's fine. All right, axe and arrow are resolved, and their unblocked damage applies. The player who rolled first this round also attacks first. Each one steals one from an opponent. Okay, cool beans. So we each get tokens. Those are blocked. I like the little animations on this. That's actually really sick. All right, they hit me with one. I hit them with one. We blocked it. We each took a token, which doesn't matter because it just equates to zero. So we both lost one health. All right. I feel like this game is going to be way too long to do on camera. So I'm going to hit you guys back as we get to the end of the game. So give me a moment and, uh, and we'll come back again. So yeah. Pick you up in a second. All right, so there was one round that I didn't show on camera real quick there. There's the, the little gold thing that we have. That's the god phase, which I can show you here in a little bit. It's two to one. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose this. I'm currently in the lead, but I'm pretty sure I've lost. So what I'm gonna do is double block because I also get god token thingies there. And then I'll go ahead and confirm those. So you want to look out for those, and then you also want to play off your opponent, because he's probably going to put out some damage shit right there. I've got one of the axes blocked, the other one I do not. So I need to get some kind of block, and then if they land on top, they reroll it. So that's another block. I'll actually take all of these, because they give me more tokens, and I have the possibility of blocking arrows, which will keep him from using arrows as well. So I'll go ahead and confirm those. Because right now, I need these god tokens. Damn, wrong block. All right, now, this is the god favor phase. So I can click this and um, it'll deal damage. I guess we'll just do this one. And then he's gonna use to remove my block, so he's gonna win. Cause I can't block that for some reason, but you win. there you go. Are you going to walk away now with your head hung in defeat? Let us play again. I do want to play again. I am going to go ahead and beat this guy, but in order for the video's I've sake, enough of this. we'll come back. Okay, so we need to go that 500 meters that way. Jeez. Or, all right, what the hell of our, our quest here? Is that the one that we're still tracking, the Seeker? Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and do that. I did not mean to, did not mean to just randomly throw that Hello, shit in the air. Hey, what's up? Okay. I'm getting used to the new controls. I actually put uh, dodge onto space as well, which is also parkour up. So we'll see how that actually affects gameplay because I did that in the previous games and it looked fine. Um, but it's how to actually activate this this business here, which is not, it's not working very well for... Um, for Odin's thing. See right here I'm dodging instead of climbing up. So that's that's what I'm talking about. I'm just trying to to make sure that these controls are gonna work out for me. I'm gonna say they're not working out. But well, I'll 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 keep testing things. It's fine, don't worry about it. 
I just didn't like having the, the Odin Sight on the same button as the bird, because it, it would happen a lot where I'd end up accidentally calling the bird or whatever. So. Ooh, food along the way. Alright, so. What's the best way to get there? Is it this way? Oh, can I just walk along this rope? Yes! That's what I figured, but I wasn't sure. I should probably get that over there as well, that, that fast travel point. Since I'm already up here in the frickin' mountains. This game absolutely looks frickin' gorgeous, and I have zero problems with it so far. The controls are a little funky, but that's because that's mainly my doing. Uh, Alright, it looks like maybe I'm around this way to get there. Yeah, it looks like we're, we're making progress. Watch, we're gonna climb up this mountain and find out that they're actually down at the bottom on the other side or something. This game's cool, though. Uh, oh, see, there's a mystery along the way, so we can even check that out as we go over to the uh, the fast travel point. Now, I really haven't been keeping good track of how long this freaking episode is, because I've had, like, 38 uh, different jump cuts. Now, I have been killed by animals before, so what if I do that? Are you guys going to try to come after me? No. Alright, well, let's go get the hide. I heard another one. Sounded like a little baby, so I don't want to... That's not it. I don't want to shoot and kill a little baby one if that's if that's actually what happens, but you know, I, I need I need resources and stuff, and unfortunately that means some of y'all animals gotta die. But that's cool though, because the animals all did Yeah, see he's running away now, the snow foxes or whatever. They're running away because Well I was killing things. Alright, offerings to Volga? Two chickens. Huh, okay. Uh, I didn't mean to read that. I actually meant to loot that for the leather and the wolf fang. So it looks like those are little, little wolf fists, I guess? I don't know. Anyways, let's go see the seer. And I did bump the brightness one, so hopefully it's a little bit better for you guys. As I know, uh, YouTube makes things really dark. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Okay. I'll be quiet. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I am... Uh... I have come for your advice, on a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come, but she has me. Now, let her speak to hmm. your needs. So that's her mom. That's going crazy over there on the I, I have had a vision, a powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf, howling and fierce. And then a figure. A greybeard in the cloak. With a single eye. He bid me follow him. The High One, he calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. Hmm. Have you used this sort of magic before? I have no fear. It was not my satyr that made her like this. Her condition inspired the elixir. 
Did it help her? For a time, it opened her up to visions. Strange, unreadable things. Then she returned to her current state. Mm hmm. I'm a little skeptical. Not gonna lie. Hopefully, it's not if you poison. Seek true understanding. I don't think it's actually poison, but still not good. Hmm? I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Harvey! Harvey. Harvey! Do I walk among the dead? Probably. Where the hell are we going? Oh, hey, that's where we're going. Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother! When did you arrive? Excuse me. Excuse These bitches. I don't like that she's like walking sideways. At least stumble forward. What is this? I'm just following this homie. So it looks like this is what we're supposed to be doing. Okay. So we're having some kind of some kind of acid trip or something. Cause this is ridiculous. Oh, there's Wolfie. All right. What is this place? They have a really accurate snow crunchy sound, but I don't like it because it's snow crunchy. I don't, I don't like that sound really. Sigurd. Uh. Brother! What is this? There was no other way, Javi. Our fates are fixed. Sigurd! Sigurd's missing half an arm. I am here. God, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I... I was on a mountain, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a wolf. Mm -hmm. And the wolf was eager for my attention. As if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the Wolfkist, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition. Or I think that was the right answer. I don't freaking know. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threats of fate. They were watching me. I guess they were all the right answer. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. I do not know what else to say. My memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. 
Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. I was say, we are going to talk about this giant ass wolf, right? And I woke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. Looks like my face game is in like but the perfect spot to just be out of the way of the text. Truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong, or you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Maybe Sigurd Odin is part of Odin fought against his fate. It can be guys. done. Hmm. I wonder how that one's going to loop around. I'm sure there's, in, in some way, shape, or form, going to be a an issue with all that business. Two skill points, hell yeah. Alright, um, I have no idea how long this episode is, so thank you for being patient with me and all that shit. So let's go see what this mystery is, and then we'll go ahead and call it an episode. I'll probably get the sync point, and then we'll continue on for the next episode. So yeah, we've only got uh, 160 meters over here to go. And I, I bet I could shoot these birds out of the sky, too. That's right, I need to keep these arrows just in case some other deer comes freaking attacking me and I die instantly again. And then I, I'm gonna mess with my my bindings again, because obviously having dodge and climb in a lot of scenarios is not gonna work on the same button. It had in the past, but whoa, that was a clipping issue. Uh, it, it has in the past, but it looks like this game kind of prioritizes dodge versus climb, so I'll have to make adjustments. And it doesn't seem like Odin's vision is really working all that well on my mouse button, so... I'll have to see what the hell I want to put that on so it's a little bit more convenient. Now... Is this the mystery? So, Ivan is asleep on his watch. That would explain some things. Oh, you like this? Hey, thanks, I stole your shit. You had a doll. Ivan! Wake up, or you'll be cast into the wild! Yeah, bitch. Wake up, dummy. Stay awake. They could be anywhere. Is he walking in his sleep? I think so. I'm gonna follow this guy, I guess. They are everywhere. If we die, everyone dies. There is a walk function. I am slightly faster, though. What is nice? Must not fall asleep. Need to see them coming. In the options, there is actually a walk speed adjustment setting, but Ivan, wake up! You're headed for the edge. I don't really like holding control. It kind of hurts my finger to do that, so I'll just kind of do the stutter step that everyone's kind of used to. to ride the rope slide? Now how the hell do I do that? How to Like actually how the hell do I do that? Is it this one? Nope, not that. How do I get on this fucking thing? I need to get Okay. I'm saying, I figured it would be that one. I'm saying, it looks like that was the only way to get Ivan, over here. Ivan, Ivan, calm down. You are asleep. Weird. No, I was flying through the air. In your sleep, a harsh awakening, true. But at least you live. Have you always taken these dream walks? Since my posting here, when I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake. Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up, and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of Odin, Eivor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch, and sleep when in your bed. That's good but idea. now, report back before you're labeled a deserter. Go! World event completed! The Dreamwalking Warrior! Okay. 
So it looks like maybe not all of these kind of lead directly to something. Uh, other than XP, hey, it got us actually closer to the sink point, so that's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tie up some loose edges and, and, and loose ends and all that stuff. Uh, Homie's going back to his post, and that's great. So thank you so much for watching this episode, and uh, I'll see you all in the next one.